Give you a live look tonight from Capitol Hill. That's where a bill protecting same sex and interracial couples crossed a major hurdle in the Senate. A procedural vote now lets the Senate start debate on the Respect for Marriage Act. Indiana Senator Todd Young was among 12 Republicans who voted yes. Indiana's other Republican Senator Mike Braun voted no. Our Emily Longnecker breaks down what brought us to this moment and what's next. So how did we get here? It all started when the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade this summer. They looked at something called substantive due process. That's a constitutional doctrine guaranteeing individual privacy to make decisions about things like education, how we raise our kids, who we marry, abortion, contraception, and our health care. The majority of Supreme Court justices said the right to privacy did not apply to someone's right to have an abortion. When Roe was overturned, Justice Clarence Thomas suggested the court should now also look at past rulings that established marriage equality based on that same right to privacy. We're not sure what a number of rights are going to end up looking like after the right to abortion was taken off the table by the Supreme Court back in June. And so, for example, uh, rights to contraception, rights to same-sex marriage, uh, the constitutional grounding for those rights is now up in the air. So what would the Respect for Marriage Act do? Well, first, it would protect same-sex marriage and interracial marriage with a federal law that could only be repealed by another Congress, something legal experts say is unlikely. The Democrats are essentially saying both of these forms of marriage are in danger, we don't know what uh, a Supreme Court that they've presented as radical will do or could do, or we don't know what individual states will have challenges that could go up to the Supreme Court and prove problematic for uh, jeopardizing you know, either form of marriage. So why now? Well, this has been in the works since this past summer when the House passed its version in July with bipartisan support. Now, a week after the midterm elections, the Senate is taking it up before the balance of power changes in the next Congress, where Republicans are expected to take control of the House. While you're protecting same-sex marriage, why not protect interracial marriage at the same time? Because, you know, we don't know how crazy politics can get. We don't know if we uh, start fooling around with one type of marriage, you know, same-sex marriage, could that undermine uh, interracial marriages as well? And so this basically protects them uh, in the same law. So what is next for this bill? Well, the Senate added some things to the House version of the bill, like protecting religious institutions from losing their tax-exempt status if they refuse to recognize same-sex marriages. So now the House has to debate those amendments. But with the bipartisan support we've seen so far, it's expected to reach President Biden's desk by the end of the month. All right. We know you'll continue to follow it. For Emily, sure. thanks.